Hello. Once again, I have to ask the question. What would happen if you mix the M&M's with the orange cream ice cream bar? But we're going to find out. It is orange vanilla cream flavor. But I guess it's like the same thing because it's just a orange cream bar with vanilla ice cream in the middle is what those are. Right. Or they could just call it cream sickles. Orange cream sickles. But they went with orange vanilla cream flavor. Caesars. But you could just do it from the side. It's not that hard. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, it's just easier to rip it from here than from down here. Because that's why they had the little ridges and everything for that little pattern. Get close up. You can see these are made similar to the peanut butter ones. They have more filling in it. I could say with that face, I think he really likes it. What do you think? Remember. Okay, I think I see what it is. The white ones are just regular um, white chocolate candies, and this one this is orange. And the orange. Oh, see, I couldn't think, I couldn't tell from that when I had like two bags of them. I just assumed the whole thing tasted the same. Well, I ate one at a time. I got more orange flavor from the orange one than I did the white one. So, mm. yeah, that's good. So that, so that explains why it's called orange vanilla cream, I suppose, huh? So it's not like, it's not like the whole thing's creamsicle huh. flavored or whatever. It's just one of them tastes like orange, orange and the other one tastes like vanilla. No, it's also white, but no. Oh. Yeah, it's good. And I definitely recommend it. You'd not buy these and let me buy them and you go away. You know where to buy them? Walmart? No. Have we? No. Hell? Make a deal with me. The devil would hold these for himself to make a deal with the devil. Give me your soul, I'll give you your bag of these. No. Seriously, what bag do those things come from? I mean, then. No, what bag did I give you those in? I don't know. Yellow bag, Dollar General? There you go. We have to walk all the way out to Dollar General if you want them. Then again, it's kind of I got my bike working. Yeah, it's like, and then again, it's the summertime. You can ride your bike out there if you wanted to. And unless it's winter, then you have to walk. And I can't stand when people ride their bikes during the winter. I tried that once. I went, whoop, sit down. I'm like, I, no, that's not good. I tried two one time, and it's just too hard for it's just too hard to pedal for me. I the only time I did that is when it was like maybe thirty degrees when it's like slush and stuff and it's easier to go through it and it's not slippery i tried that too as well and it just again it was just one of those things where it's just I, really hard to pedal normally i don't i don't do it anymore normally i would watch like when i'm in the work van i would look to see how the sidewalks are yeah it looks they're just like slush or water puddles i can't understand how anybody can do that just ride their bike in the middle of winter like it's nothing I can't do it when it's like snowy, snowy. But. Right. I know some people just ride their bikes on the road, but around here it's kind of a not a good thing, especially when you have like a bunch of cars out there and it could be slippery and all that stuff. Ride your bike on the sidewalk, but during the winter it's not a good thing because you have snow on certain spots and you have to push. They need, they need to, I don't know if they have, but they need to get like snow tires for bikes. <laughs> I think the bike store might have something like that, but I don't. But, uh, but that would seem weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I recommend that buy for a dollar. I also uh, recommend that you like, share, and subscribe to Big Healthy Radio, Scotty Boy Rules. See you.